the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. I think it diminished the, the, the message because it, they're seeing they're seeing something opposite of what the truth is about. So when you, like you were talking earlier, well, when people talk about uh, division and using, using the ministry to perpetuate a, a position, right? A division or, or, or hate or whatever, it, 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 it also affects those people that's watching from the outside uh, and also those who may be on the inside that don't know the word. Right, because the people who are supposed to be talking the word is is saying one thing but demonstrating something else, and it caused them to well, be disillusioned. But what I tell you, some pastor, what what we're quote unquote calling democracy now, and 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 and, and there's a threat on it, and all these other kind of things spills over into our religious perspective. In other yeah, words, yeah. In my opinion tolerating anything and everybody and everything goes and that's to me is not a good concept and if that's what we're calling democracy which what america does you can come over from any religion and practice it and set up anything and do anything you want to you can't go to these other countries they stand by what they stand by you can't bring that crap there but here you can come here and do anything act any kind of way we're going to tolerate you we're going to put up with you we're going to allow it. We're, 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 we're just, we're, we're going to accept everybody. Anybody can do anything. And then, of course, because of that, it is spilled over into Christianity in America. And so now Christianity has begun to mirror democracy. As a matter of fact, a lot of people will say Christianity and democracy are in line together. Now they want to say if you're a Republican, you're not a Christian. I mean, it's getting to the point where, yeah. where, where, where that means tolerating everything. Let me tell you something. The Bible doesn't tolerate everything. Jesus uh -huh. didn't tolerate everything. He said to often, come out from among them and uh -huh. be ye separate, said the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing. He had a lot of things that he said that was abomination unto him. He said a lot of things that he hated. He said a lot of things that he was against. And so for us now to try to act like Christianity is like, everything goes, we'll accept everything. You know, you, you, you know, it doesn't matter. It's just not true. It, it doesn't align with the Bible, but it does align with what we're calling democracy. And so too often now, what we call the American way or the democratic lifestyle is what the Bible also purports. It's just not true. And we're doing yeah. ourselves a disservice in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Well, when I, I would run around with that. And the fact is, I'm saying is that uh, in democracy or uh, any of these other concepts or even different governments, the, what, what, what we want to be able to say is in the democracy, in our kingdom, it's not everything goes. Because if it doesn't line up with love, right? If it doesn't line up with truth, if it doesn't, it doesn't line up with the fruits of the spirit, that's, you know, I've been pushing that for a while. If, if, if it doesn't line with those, that is not the characteristics of the Holy Spirit, then regardless of the fact that you have a right, it doesn't make it right if it, if it goes against these foundations of, of our belief. I'm trying to say is that we know what the characteristics of the fruits of the Spirit is, right? Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there's no law. If you decide to say that I'm going to uh, commit adultery, where does that line up in those characteristics of the fruits of the Spirit? If, if somebody sit there and say, well, I'm going to be a, 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 I'm going to be a homosexual, I mean, I'm attracted to the same sex. So where's your temperance in there, right? And 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 where's your where's your goodness and gentleness in there? Where's your peace in there? Where's your joy that comes out of that? Uh, 
what does it lead to? See, Christ is saying, I'm leading you to eternal life. So therefore, just because you have a right, well, and Paul said it, right? Paul said, it, it may not, it may, I have a right though, but it's not expedient. Is, is that just what that scriptures were saying? What Paul was saying is, it, it may, I, it's not expedient to me. So I'm not, exactly. It's not beneficial to me. You, you, you have a right. It's small. Huh? Yeah. You definitely have the right. You have the right, but does it is it beneficial? <clears throat> is it? Possible? It may be. It may be a constitutionally protected practice. Yeah. Of course, it could be, but that don't make it godly. It don't make no. Even the prodigal son, he had a right to leave, didn't he? He had the right to <laughs> to get his inheritance. <laughs> He had the right to go and live his uh, rides his living life. But it didn't make it right because the consequences add up to, wow, I lost everything. <laughs> I'm in a pig pen. I'm eating what the mm -hmm. pigs eat. You have to ask them, how, how, did, how did that work out for you? That's how it be real simple. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, don't, don't take my word for it. How did it work out for you? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I think that one goes back to what Jesus said, if you continue my word, right? He said is, our job is to preach, like I said, we preach the truth and we stand on the foundation. If, if, if somebody wants to be in the Satanist club, well, well, all I know is, I can just tell you what foundation you stand on is what's going to matter in the day of, of uh, issues. Well, I think... I can't compromise it and water it down for you just because I like you. I really want you to to, to come to the knowledge of the truth. I want you to change. Uh, there has to be a standard, and I'm gonna stand on that. Somebody got to stand on the wall. Period. But just speak, speak the word. Is what I'm saying. I agree. Speak the word. But look, and people are gonna, and people are gonna respect you more in the long run <clears throat> uh, because of the fact. You know, I, I think about some of my teachers back in high school. Yeah, and uh, the ones that were the hardest, the ones that didn't play the radio, the ones that made me uh, stand for something, are the ones I respect the most at this particular point in life because the ones I could get over on or give a good excuse for or uh, beat around the bush and they kind of like me and they would allow me to do what I want to, that didn't help me. It didn't yeah. help me at all. Right. The ones that didn't play that and made me made me adhere to the standard. That's what helped me. It, it yeah. still helps me to this day. And so those are the ones that you end up respecting the most because they did that, you know. Yeah. And, and so I think, I think we have the same obligation. Yeah. And I, well, I said, I think, I think that's what I'm saying is that when, when, first of all, I, stay on the message, right? The message yeah. is, is not to say, yeah. it's not to say I did everything go. That's not the message in Christ, yeah. right? The, right. the the message is continuing his work. Mm -hmm. The message is being in his kingdom. The message is to walk by faith, not by sight. The message is mm -hmm. that he's the way, the truth, and the light. So we go his way. That's that's the message. The message says is to love one another. It doesn't say if you know you love your child, right? You you got children. We got children. We're not saying is I love you, so it's okay for you to go get involved with drugs, or it's okay for you to go and, and uh, play Russian roulette with a gun. It's, it's okay to to get into problem with a private criminal organization. That love has nothing to do with those acts. Love is saying is I'm gonna love you no matter what, and yeah. I want to encourage you to go the way of Christ. I can't and make. I, and love. I make and I may have to, I may have to, um, you go. <laughs> allow allow you to sleep on the streets and, <laughs> yeah. and, and stuff like that because you, I, I'm not going for anything and everything just to, just just because you know, <laughs> yeah. you know, just well, right. well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna come back here no more. Well, then don't come back. <laughs> don't come that's, back. That's, that's gonna be that's how I stand here. You're not gonna <laughs> sit up in here and do drugs <laughs> to my house. Yeah. And bring these folks over here that's in prison state and everything. And if that's what you think is going to happen, you don't come by. Period. Because exactly. we're going to stand for something here. We're right. going to stand for something here. There's a standard. Right. And, and, and yeah, we love you. We don't want you out there. We don't want that to happen in your life. 
but I'm not getting ready to compromise the standard just to have your friendship. It's not gonna and, happen. Exactly, and that's, I think that's the whole point of being able to stay on. And, and just like you use an example that, that, that buddy back in college was, see, he's not, he didn't show hate toward anybody. Hey, none, right? none. He, he, he's just saying is, this is, this is my position that I'm standing on. And, and when you, when your position or your foundation, that's really what it boils down to, when your foundation starts to crumble, I'll still be here. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Is that if you want to come to me and I'll talk to you about my foundation. Yeah. And it allows you, so, so the, I think that's it. I think that's a make sure that none distort the message of tolerating sin. He's not, I, I don't think that's not what the message is about. The message is about being delivered from sin. And that only way we can deliver that is through Jesus Christ. Um, mm -hmm. And then watch people as they, cause I think even like we talk about, when they talk about the, uh, um, the past of things of racism, the problem is that it's constantly being threatened because it has a weak foundation. It has to use bad behavior outside of Christ. And, and you, you, I guess some people want to do, uh, they want to have the form of godliness, right? But they're denying the truth of it. And they allow mm -hmm. evil, they allow bad behavior to, to, to say, I'm a Christian, but I, I, I got to do this bad thing. And I think what us as Christian is continue to do the right thing. Stand on the truth. Speak the truth. If somebody asks me, is, is it all right to commit adultery? You know it's not. Is it, uh, is it all right to commit fornication? Well, you know the consequences of it. What's that? What, hey, well, it's Galatians, right? Be not deceived. God is not bought. Whatsoever man soweth, that's what he reaps. <laughs> so, and we were talking about that one time before. We were saying is, what are you planting? For example, somebody said back to part about the Satanist club. What is being planted in that club or in your life using that club? What's being planted living the lifestyle, even in homosexuality? What is the what are you planting? That's all you need to understand for me is. I want to plant those things that equals life, equals eternal life. So I'm not going to say that what you're planning is right. I'm going to tell you when you, what you're planning doesn't line up with God's word, God's will. I'm telling you that hate does not line up with God's will. I'm telling you being a liar doesn't, you know what I mean? The, the six things, you remember the six things that God hates the Proverbs, right? Seven, seven things. It's seven all together, right? These six yeah, things seven God is hate. abomination. Seven, yeah, is, seven abomination. is abomination. Exactly. Yeah. In fact, if you sit there and say, well, discord does not line up with what he says. Murder does not line up with what he says. A false witness. A false witness. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's, yeah. In other words, the Bible, the Christian church, the ministry, is to say is, you do these things, but if they these things require you to do the things that God hates, if it doesn't line up with love, then then you're on the wrong foundation. But if it lines up with the love of God, the truth of God, the truth is that he, that's what I was talking about. The truth makes you free. And and, and matter yeah. of fact, I, I want to show you some if you don't mind, because you always got to get like I said, we teach the word, right? We yeah. preach the word. It's, 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 let's go back to the scriptures I was showing. Watch this. I like, I like this as, this as a foundation. Watch, I'm going to go. I said we're holy. We're living stone, right? Now I'm going to the scripture that talks about that. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> I start off with John 8 31, right? Uh, and you, you can, you can, you can see where I'm coming from. And I had to say, then Jesus said that those Jews who believed on him. So therefore, we're talking about anybody that said they're professing Jesus Christ, their personal Lord and Savior. 
they confessed him being a Christian. He said, this Jesus said to those Jews who believe in him, which also applies to the body of Christ, if you what, Jim, you said, if you continue what? If you continue in my word, then you are my discipline was indeed, right? You are disciplined because you continue in my word. So when somebody sits there and says it's, it's okay to hate, it's okay to lie, it's okay to deal with, even when you're talking about sexual orientation or anything else, if you, you continue there, then you're not my disciples. You're not my disciplined ones. But if you stay in my word and you do what I tell you to do, then you are, you're my disciples indeed, right? And then he said, then you shall know the truth. And it's interesting when Pontius Pilate was asking Jesus, well, what is true? And what you start off even saying is that if people don't know the truth, and if we don't preach the truth, how can they even operate under the truth? So he's just saying right here, if you know the truth, is the truth to do what? Make you free. And if and far as ministry is to continue, if, if the, we wasn't equipped the saints to do the work of the ministry, the way we exactly. preach them to do the work of the ministry is to stay in the truth. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say I can't, I can't. I can't say I tolerate or accept uh, lying, hate, or or fornication, or adultery, or sexual orientation. I can't say if that that if I say those things okay, that's not continuing the truth. And I'm not even preaching the truth. <laughs> I have to sit there and say, let's preach the truth, continue the truth, encourage people to stay in the truth in order for us to continue to do the right thing. So when first Peter came up, it says, wherefore laying aside all legitimate malice, all gout, and hypocrisy, and envy, in all evil speaking. Now he's talking for us to change from those things of the world to the, to these things. Get away from these things, laying aside these things of the world. And as newborn they desire the sincere milk of the word. Because most people, can, you know, I think what did Jesus said, if, unless you come in as a child. You know, you 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 really not. You, you you if you come in like you got it all together, you know everything. You you you're not you're not really gonna receive the sincere milk of the word of God. You're not even gonna grow <laughs> because you're standing on a, your own opinion, your own foundation. He said, "Come in as a child spiritually and desire the sincere milk of the word that you may." You see that there's that process you were talking about earlier, right? You grow by giving a person the word of God. And 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 he said, is that and if so be you have tasted that the Lord is gracious. One second. To whom coming as unto what? A living stone. Disallow in deeds of men, but chosen of God and precious. I think people need to understand that. Ye also, as living stones, are built up what? A spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer of what? See, I like the fact that spiritual sacrifices is what we want to be when you know, somebody comes into the body of Christ is spiritual sacrifices. That means setting aside and, and, and denying yourself those things that I call sin, which is easy to set you. And he said, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, which is Christ, elect, precious, and he that believes on him shall not be confounded. That means we won't be confused if we stay on him. And that's what, I think that's what ministry is supposed to do, right? See, I, ministry is supposed to teach, and I preach, hopefully a lot of them are not doing it, but don't preach that we tolerate or accept or say it's okay to, to, 
to do the opposite of what these scriptures are saying. The, the ministry should be saying, lay aside all those other things we talked about earlier. So that people understand, we're standing on a foundation, which is the chief cornerstone, which is Christ Jesus. The verse seven says, unto you therefore which believe, what? He is precious. Not, not people. It's not to say people are not precious, but who's precious? It's Jesus Christ. But unto them which be which be disobedient, the stone which the bill is disallowed, the same is made a head of the corner. A stone of stumbling, a rock. Oh, and that gets if you get offended. That, that, does that that's your opinion on that? That the rock of offense. I mean, I tell you what, Pastor. If everybody. And that's the problem. Everybody wants to be popular, accepted, yeah. Yeah. agreed with. But I'm going to tell you something. That's what's happening. Nine times out of ten, you ain't teaching the truth. Yeah. Because it's, it, 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 uh, it's a rock of offense. It is. Because yeah. especially, especially in this in this world today, for yeah. what they want to do, yeah. the direction they want to go, and yeah. what they want you to accept, and uh -huh. what they want you to just be okay with, if, yeah, if yeah. everybody's agreeing with what you're preaching and everybody loves what you're saying, you're probably not telling the truth because it's a rock of a fan. It's a, it and that's is. what I say when people, when people come to church, yeah. if you leave service on Sunday and you weren't offended and your toes weren't stepped on, you probably didn't hear the truth. You probably didn't. <laughs> you didn't. Because that's a good sign because, because you ain't perfect. You yeah. ain't upright in all your ways. And so if I'm going here and I'm talking about the standard, which is the truth, then uh -huh. everybody in there should feel a little uncomfortable at some point about something. They can say amen or oh my, but oh something my. Didn't, didn't, didn't sit well with you because who wants red marks on their paper? Come who on. wants to be, who wants to be, you know, evaluated and don't get a perfect score? <laughs> and, and when you come in there, that's what is, that's what's going to happen. Gonna it's going to happen. happen. You, <laughs> if, it, if, it, if it's not happening, then they're grading on a curve. And yeah. I promise you, that ain't the truth. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't yeah. happening. Yeah. And, and the Sadducees were offended, weren't they? The, 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 the Sadducees and the Pharisees, they were offended. Oh, the big time. were offended. Big time. Big and they, time. And they had a form of, of self righteousness. Well, but you he know, I'll tell you, my, hmm? my mailman, when he come back here, he don't even, most of the time, he don't even look at the envelopes. He don't know whether it's a bill, a letter, a dear John, or whatever. He just brings it by and drops it off. I have, when I get it, when I open it up, I have whatever emotions I go through or what I have, the anxieties and stress he puts me out there, ain't got nothing to do with him. His mind is clear, period. His job is one job and one job only. Woo! Whatever they put on the back of my truck, when I get back to the doggone, um, uh, 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 to the place, yeah. I done dropped off everything. We're get back to the post office. Everything I supposed to drop off is dropped off at the appropriate house. Ah. What they do with it when they get it, that's their business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, and that's why but so many times we're we're trying to please, we're trying to placate. We don't want to offend. We don't want to say anything that is gonna make someone uncomfortable. And we want everybody to feel great because we want them to keep back after coming back. After all, if they don't come back, I can't reach them. You see, you worry about too much. The mailman don't ever worry about that kind of stuff. He, he don't worry about, well, maybe they're going to take the mailbox shut if I give them this bill and I can't deliver none tomorrow. He could care less. Tomorrow, if you get another mail, guess what they're going to do? He's going to come right back by there and he's going to stick it in your mailbox. You and so that's, that has to be our position. I'm not concerned yeah. about whether you attended it or whether you liked it. If he gave it to me, I gave it to you, period. Yeah. And whatever yeah. you do with that song, you ain't on me. Uh -huh. And I'm uh -huh. even concerned about it. I'm gonna deliver the message, get this burden off my back, and then, and then uh, you deal with it. Because if you if, if if it didn't sit well with you, then there was a reason, and that's yeah. what it was supposed to have done. Because it is a rock of offense. offense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you if you're confident you saying that's not what he wants you to do. Because how do you even to them, it? even to them, would stumble at the word. In other words, those that's kind of fumbling around don't understand the word. Could yeah. you be disobedient? 
we yeah. were to also they were appointed. This is what I'm supposed to do, bring it to you and let it pay you. Come that's on. my job. Come on. Period. Yeah. But, yeah. You know, but that's not what we do now as, 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 as I think as ministers and stuff. We want to make sure everybody feels comfortable. We want to make sure everybody's happy. God forbid we offend anyone. God forbid somebody walks out of here upset about something I said.